Bumblebee Spotlight is done? Six days ago when Paramount finally released the first trailer of Transformers Rise of the Beasts, an advanced Christmas gift for us knowing that we waited for almost five years for another Transformers movie, and I already created a videos about my thoughts and details in this trailer. If you didn't watch it yet, visit my YouTube channel and don't forget to follow and subscribe me. Now let's back to the topic in why Transformers Rise of the Beasts will be the end of Spotlight for Bumblebee. So what do I mean that the end of Spotlight? It means that according to my observation base on the trailer Bumblebee is just a side cast of this movie. Or shall I say that unlike in other Transformers movie Bumblebee will get a shorter screen time this time. Let me explain to you why. But before that let me clear it to all of you that this is all my opinion. While analyzing the trailer this is the possible storyline of this new Transformers movie. After the Bumblebee movie Optimus and Bee stay on Earth and waited to other Autobots across the galaxy. When Dropkick and Shatter attempt to call all the Decepticons to came down to Earth using this transmission tower. We can see that Charlie successfully stop it by getting the battery thing out of this tower that kills the power. But we can see that the battery thing was still there and it definitely still working. After that in ending scene Bumblebee sacrifice himself to kill Shatter. And Bumblebee luckily survived that time. But the battery thing that can call Decepticons left in this scene and we never seen it until the movie ends. When B and Charlie was about to leave the place John Chenna shows up and we are surprised that he is now in the side of Bumblebee. And we can hear from him saying this words. I mean my friends are coming. And they're gonna be looking for him. I mean my friends are coming. And they're gonna be looking for him. When he said his friends are coming that would be the part that the army will find this thing. After that, they will give it to scientists to study, but unfortunately, they accidentally call the Terracons, and that's the rise of the beasts will happen. When the Terracons successfully landed to Earth, Optimus and Bumblebee go to the venue where they landed and try to stop them. And that where this scene will happen. As you can see, the fire around them a sign that Terracons landed in this area. And that's why there are only two of them fighting Scourge, it is because it's a first part of this movie. Since Bumblebee got stabbed that time he's getting weak and can't able to fight anymore. So Scourge decided to grab Bumblebee and make Bumblebee his prisoner. That's why there's a lot of scene in the trailer that Optimus are alone and we didn't even see Bumblebee in the ending part of the trailer where the epic battle begins. Also Optimus is so aggressive when he saw Optimus Primal. It is because Optimus was traumatized when they got attacked by Scourge in this scene. Stand down. Stand down. I wanted to share it to you guys in more detailed way but I will ruin your excitement for this movie and become a spoiler. I want also to share if how the Maximals came down to Earth but just like what I said I will not gonna make it a most detailed way. That's it guys the reason why I think Bumblebee will get shorter screen time this time. It is because based on the trailer this story is not just saving the Earth but also saving Bumblebee from Scourge. So I have a feeling that Bumblebee got kidnapped in the beginning and he will come back in the end when Autobots and Maximals already save him. I hope you like this theory, wishing you a good day.